if you've done enough projects with Webflow, you've probably had to combine different text elements into one heading. In this example, I want to combine the name of the blog with the short description to create a longer title. And I want the whole thing to be in H1. One thing you might have done is maybe place three H1 tags and make them inline so they appear as one element. But this is really not good for SEO because it takes them as three different titles. And that's not good because you are supposed to only have one H1 tag per page. So let's get rid of those. The next best solution was using an embed and basically recreating that structure and classes within these embeds with spans in between. This works great, but we lose the advantages of Webflow. So the new way of doing this with the custom element is that you can create a custom element and make sure to give this a tag of H1 or whatever your heading is going to be. And I'm going to also give this a class of H3 just for the styling. Now inside, I'm going to place another custom element. And this time, this is a span. Spans by default are inlined, so we can create different spans and they will still look like they are part of one element or one text block. And we want to take this text from the name. I will just duplicate this twice. And for the second one, I will just disconnect semicolon and space. For the third one, we'll take this from the short description. So now we have a semantic H1 with dynamic elements in, in it. You can also use this method to inject images into your headings. And it was a trend a while back. I'm not sure if it's still relevant to this day, but with this method, you can just go to your H3, add an image. Let's take this arrow over here. I'm going to make sure it's the first element and I'm going to make sure, let's give it a title icon and make sure this is in line. I gave it some padding and a width, and now we have an icon within this heading. We can do this again and place things in between. They would still work and be inside the text, just like you would want them to be. If you like this quick tutorial, let us know what other suggestions you have, what else you want to see from us, and YouTube thinks you'll like this video up here.